Vertigo. What's up, cousin? What's popping? Did you miss me? Because I missed y'all. What's going on in the life of a Virgo for the month of October 2019? <laughs> Are you guys in this space of feeling as if you don't deserve? Maybe you will not have, but you know and you feel heavily something huge is coming. Because it is. And only person that can fuck that up is you. <laughs> hey, we had this first time to my channel. I'm Mocha. Also, this first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell the cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing doesn't work for you, please feel free right goddamn now to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. Because the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that. <laughs> if you're a new subscriber, welcome to the family. We live dysfunctional over here. We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do laugh. We grow. We enlighten. We cuss. We evolve. Sometimes we cry. We family. Positive vibes only over here. We do positive type teams. Okay? Also, if you need a person reading that information, can be found within the description information uh, description box below. All right? This message is not going to resonate with every single Virgo. If not, you guys check your sun, moon, rising, Venus, all of their regular spiel that everybody else be uh, saying. I, I be forgetting sometimes. Okay, so with that said, um, you guys also return the family a hey, boo, hey, 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 hey. Also, you guys, thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribe, the donations, the love, the readings, the comments, the, all the love. Thank you from the most humblest space ever. Okay, and um, let's go ahead and jump into your October reading. All right, so let's get it. For my Virgos, intuitively what I picked up with you guys, some of you guys are fighting transformation. You want to control how fast something's going to move. You want to see results now. You're tired of waiting. You're tired of that patient shit. You don't want to hear shit about patience. The P word is even we're being removed out of your vocabulary in your world. Some of you all have blown your fucking top. You have had fuck enough, okay? Also, I don't know why I literally... um. <laughs> Some of you guys could be listening to Lizzo, okay? But I keep hearing, and I know my bestie is a Virgo, and she loves this song. But for you guys, I kept hearing that shit. So I feel like even though, I feel like there's an aspect of you guys feeling as if you know what you want. You're attracting options, but they're not just quite what you want because you already intuitively know what it is that has been divinely ordered already. So you're trying to wait, but you're losing your fucking patience when it comes to waiting for a situation to come together. You're really out of it. And so a lot of y'all, I kept hearing two songs, actually. I heard, all my single ladies, all my single ladies, all my single ladies, all my single ladies. That if you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. I don't know why I feel like I need to be doing a dance right now on some shit. But some of y'all could actually have been doing a dance with me on some shit. Because I just felt into it. <laughs> I'll be rolling with y'all. Okay, I'm an empath, damn it. All right, so also, um, some of you all are in this space of um, really having a hard time accepting what it is that your guides are telling you. You don't understand why do I have to surrender? Why do I have to let go? Why is it that I have to not get what I want and I'm hearing again, 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 okay? So for some of you all, first off, that's the mindset because you've already told yourself that you ain't deserving of it based on the fact that you already accepted defeat. It's not... To have something postponed is not to be... It's, it, it, that's not the same as being defeated, Virgo. So for some of you all, because you are having to experience... um this awakening, a lot of y'all, this has to do with the spiritual awakening. Some of y'all could also be having some type of paranormal activities going on in your homes. Some of you all may have doors closing by themselves, lights coming on by themselves, flickering lights. A lot of y'all ancestors, your guides, your angels, they really are wanting you to call out to them. But instead, some of y'all is calling out to rock. I'm in love with Mary J. She's my main thing. She makes me feel all right. Okay, some of you guys actually receive messages. Um, some of you guys, that's how you are actually able to receive through your pineal gland by smoking a little ganja. But understand, some of y'all are receiving messages and you're not doing shit about it. Instead, you're sitting up being your own damn worst enemy. Woulda, coulda, shoulda, and, and and really, some of y'all being mean to your damn Kwame party. You're trying to make them make. They, some of y'all don't want to be the bad guy. I feel Virgo is trying to make somebody leave them alone. 
so that they can go get to their good thing. Some of y'all have blessings coming in. You there's a need to be open and be open and receptive. Because for some of you all, you're fussing about money problems. However, when you telling folks, that's all right, I got it. Put your pride aside. You can't be fucking you can't be uh needing shit and be prideful at the same time. How you think it's coming? By way of other people, because the only thing you guys usually do is give, so now is the time of receiving. Ever since the sun went into Virgo, it's time for y'all to receive. That was the motherfucking transition. But if you only focused on one thing, you might just miss your blessing, right? So let's get it. <clears throat> First angel message that you guys got was Counselor, Archangel Azrael. You are a natural counselor, and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance, okay? So some of you all may also be trying to bear the weight of other people and also do so in a way of masking your own shit. The spirit is saying no more of that. Deal with your shit. Put them damn shoes on where they belong. Put, and I'm, I'm hearing the shoe of accountability. You or another person in your energy also could have an issue with accountability. For some of you all, you being guided, you being used as a tool. My lighting is just too bright up in here. But for some of you all, do you see this angelic being using this, using this lady? Some of you are also maybe dreaming about sacred sacred geometri geometrical uh, symbols. It's attached to your ancestry, also DNA encoded. This could be a time of heavy downloads for you all, but it's about movement, your next move. A lot of you all are, are, uh, are receiving a lot of creative downloads. There's a need for some of you all to get a dream journal, okay? Also, some of you all are being used as a tool of truth, used as a sword to be someone's be the catalyst for another person's awakening. You are the fucking tower. However, you want to let the towers fall, but you have an issue with somebody's codependency on your issue and the fact that you are being stagnated and you can't grow. And now you had a boop boop wake up call in the month of October and you're waiting, you're wanting to move, but you're basing your moves on another person's response, actions, or validations. Why? How, Sway? Okay? You're being called to move on the notions. A lot of you all also may be in this place of, um, and this really healing energy. And a lot of you all, I know, research sexual healing how you want. Some of you all also may be um, into Kama Sutra during this time. Some of you all also may be having some type of spiritual connection that's a sexual one with another person that is activating this sacral energy. That's the that's it, it's bringing movement to a situation. Okay, I'm hearing emotionally for some of you all, and also spiritually when it comes to your life purpose, your passions. Okay, next message you guys got was clear cognizance. Archangel Uriel, pay attention to thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. Some of you all, you're not crazy. I also heard clear audience, okay? So some of you all could be inheriting, to, inheriting the spiritual gift of being able to hear your guides, okay? You, you're not hearing dead people. Them damn doves that's closing. Some of you all also are needing to cleanse your home, okay? Cleanse your energy. Get rid of, there's a need, I, I keep hearing other people's shit. Other people shit. Some of y'all are holding on to other people shit. Others of you need to clean and stop abandoning your ancestor altar. Okay? Some of you are you're struggling between your beliefs between religion as well as some of the uh, some of the things that you've also researched. And some of you all some of y'all and this could have you could have some type of fixed energy in your chart. You could also have Taurus, Aquarius, um, Leo, Scorpio in your chart. There's this thing about how you're perceived from other people, about other people, which is causing you guys to compare your lives or compare um, other people's blessings to the things that you know that are coming, the blessings that you know are coming, but it's just not your turn. But there's this energy, I'm going to go ahead and say it, of evil eye, Virgo. And for some of you all, this is external to you. And for some of you all, you're giving it. And that's the stagnation of your blessing because my yacht didn't come to play. Focus on what you want and don't worry about the next person. Don't worry about unless you send sending congratulations from a sincere place. That's not your part. Okay? It's not your job to compare yourself to what Diana and Keely and all of them over there doing on their damn end. Because truth be told, you know, y'all my cousins. I don't need to say it to you. You don't know how much ass they had to throw back for that. Did they get it from a space of morality? Instead of looking at what you dealt with, what they, what they, well, sorry, what you lack, what did they do? Did they exhibit a behavior that maybe that you, maybe, maybe you can learn from this person's ambition. Maybe you can learn from this person's um, ability to trust in themselves to just step out there and build that particular revenue, build that career path, build that. For some of you all, this is about waiting and waiting and waiting. The spirit is saying, you are the two, you the vessel, you the motherfucking magician. This is about self mastery in the month of October. 
speaking up for the things that you deserve, speaking up for the things that you know that you want, speaking up and not selling for shit in between, that's not close to what you want. If it's not beneficial, what is it? Okay? Shit. Player, player, verse one, uh, line six. The fuck? If it ain't, if it ain't, or if it's not beneficial, it's not benefiting. If it's not benefiting you in no kind of way, baby, it's therefore then artificial. Cause it's heavy, huh? Acknowledgement. You holding yourself back. Cause if somebody put the damn, drop the damn shmoney in the coin on it, your ass been to hit the damn door in the hot New York second, you be leaving smoke behind your ass. So you keep that same energy when it comes to you investing in yourself. Instead of sitting in the energy of woulda, coulda, shoulda, but still doing the same shit. Hmm. Hmm. For some of you all, I ain't even show y'all the damn cards. I start fussing. Clear cognizance. For some of you all, you may get a lot of, again, like I said, downloads, intuitive hits. Regarding things that you should be more so proactive about. And get more information. For some reason, I'm, I heard grants, okay? But for some of you all, you could have uh, issues when you want to, you know what you want to do, but you don't have the finances behind the spirit is saying, open your mouth. Ask for help. You usually be, you used to be in the one with the answer. Understand this. People are going to be coming to you a lot in the month of October for assistance. Don't wear too many of their burdens. You're going to be used as a resource, but also because you're putting out that energy, it's also going to be coming back to you with the same flow. So for some of you all, this has to do with co-creation with the universe in order to manifest and bring your manifestations of what you're focusing your intent on to the material realm here in the 3D. Okay. Overall energy around the read. You guys got the queen of hearts. Some of you all can have an opportunity at love. Or have a divine partnership with a water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. You could also be dealing with the Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. I have one that you need to let the hell go. But this could have to do with the earth sign. Wanting to cling on to your damn energy. And you not knowing how to be the damn bad guy and speak up. And it's not really about being the bad guy. It's the sort of truth. You guys mirror one another in this codependent ass energy. That's the release. You are the tower. Comprende? Okay. You got an opportunity at the new. And some of you all. Things are not moving as fast as you'd like them to with the new, yet you have another option that you're rejecting that could be beneficial to you when it comes to your finances, okay? <clears throat> For some of you all, you're going to be receiving an opportunity during this time, okay? I do feel that when it comes to your finances, Virgos are going to be receiving new job offers, new, collab uh, new collaborative offers. Some of y'all could also be finding out that you're pregnant as well. Others of you just could have to do with moving, relocation, starting over, renewals, okay? And for some of you all, this is being done in secret. Whatever it is that was being hidden, it will be illuminated. But I feel like the perception around it, some of you all have pure intentions. However, you know that building your dreams is going to come at the lack, thereof, the lack thereof of another. Yet you're tired of really sleeping on your damn self. So you woke yourself up like, huh, I'm here, I'm, I'm up, I'm hungry, I'm ready to eat now. And it's flourishing for you. It's harvesting for you. Things are falling into alignment to move in your favor in order to get you to that goal. And there are people secretly around you. This could be um, having to do with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or um, another Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That is really not liking this. Because I thought this was the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that feels left the fuck out. But also, I feel that this could have to. This has to do with your fulfillment. Virgo getting what they deserve by letting go what the hell they've been settling for. Spirit giving you what you need. And for some of you all, if you just stop putting your expectations into one, all your eggs in one damn basket, if you stop putting your one, your expectations into a face and release that theory that it's going to come in the face that you want it to, some of y'all, this is a plan. Some of y'all, this is an emergency exit. Coming right on time to get you out of this space. Some of you all are feeling rejected, left out, the lack thereof of love and affection in existing relationships because someone has to put their energy elsewhere or find some type of balance between how they share their energy. This could be with work. This could have to be with uh, their friends and their family. Some of y'all are dealing with a water sign who do everything to everybody else but lack thereof when it comes to what they put into you. 
They got all these fucking stories that they catch up, kept catch you up on and hit me while you sitting back holding, suppressing, might I add. Well, damn. How you found time for all that shit and you ain't find time for our connection? What is this? What do you want from me? What is this? And you can know that this is your divine partner, but at the same time, the foundations that you land within that within that partnership, this is shit you're going to deal with later. Truth be told, this is what you're showing them is okay. So spirit is saying, speak up, self-worth, become the motherfucking towers because you feel as if you're not going to have that again. But spirit is saying, yes, you are. Because you are literally becoming the vibration in which you wish to attract. Self-mastery. you creating that path by you jumping up. Because it's the aspect of a motherfucker knowing that they got to work for it. That is the lesson here. You've already done the work. It's their turn, Virgo. Okay? So let's get it. That was deep, y'all. Okay? I also am hearing paternity. So some of you guys, I'm hearing adults. So some of y'all could be adults finding out some type of truth about your heritage, your ancestry. Okay? For some of you all, this is also uh, someone actually opening up. And actually presenting an offer to you, I feel like it's going to catch you by surprise. This could have already happened, but for some of y'all, this is happening within the third week of October, okay? This could be a water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Things are coming together where someone was afraid of opening up due to some type of separation. Someone has been healing. You're going to get a whole other perception of what the hell somebody's been going through. They've been rebuilding their foundation, I heard, okay? So, Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful virgins? My Guadalco. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the month of October. Okay. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Ooh. Some of you guys also are receiving some type of offer. Somebody, Some of y'all are dealing with a, a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, who you could have a family with or who you could have children with. If this person was lacking when it came to helping out with the children, okay, I definitely feel like they, this person wants to come in and heal the situation. They want to bring some type of balance and harmony into the help that you receive. Well, when it comes to help around finances with your babies, okay? I'm also seeing this person, this is this person's way of trying to ease their way back in and actually heal the situation with mama as well, okay? Because this person seeing you, seeing you as the empress. They realize your strength. They realize in the past the things that you could have fussed about when it comes to how they lack the balance between finding balance between the home life and how much love and attention that they give um, you as well as work. And their focus. I feel like this person is very lonely without your energy right now. If this is a reconciliation, some of you all also may be laying a situation to rest after possibly finding out that someone is uh, trying to be. Hmm. Some of y'all are dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo. And this person could be laying a situation to rest if they're already involved in another relationship, okay? Some of you all also could be finding out that someone could be pregnant, especially if you're dealing with the sign of Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or if you're dealing with the sign of uh, Pisces, Libra, Taurus, another Virgo like yourself, Gemini, Aries. Some of you guys are healing a situation with someone who you have children with. This person now wants to come in and bring you something. They want to bring you something stable, but the advice here is to move slowly and don't rush into anything and don't become too caught up in the damn lust when this person come back. Oh, because your ass don't get lusty. Don't get so caught up in the lust that you ignore the issues and get to a resolution on how to fix things, okay? For some of you all, some of y'all is getting ready to find out that if you're dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, who has separated from somebody who could have been a wife or a child's mother or father, okay? I feel like this person could have... Mm, this person needs to make a decision and it's kind of put in a, this person feels bagged in the corner, Virgo. This could be you or another person. Somebody feels bagged in the corner now that a child's mother or father wants to fix things. They want to show the other person that they've changed, okay? This could also have to do with someone, some of y'all could find out that even though somebody else separated with their with their ex-spouse, that person coming back to tell that telling your spouse or however go take it high flip because I don't want to confuse my damn self or y'all either. Somebody could be telling somebody that even though I'm separated from my ex spouse, we she getting ready to have a baby. Or we getting ready to have a baby. And I feel like for some of you all you're gonna feel betrayed by this information because you've already planned for some of y'all, you had a vision board. You plan how you want your life with this person. And you're going to feel a bit betrayed. But for some of you all, this is happening for this person to get in alignment with fixing. fixing and, and for some of you all, you need to not worry because this person still wants to deal with you. However, that, that, that's, that baby is something that they have to deal with together. 
you're still going to get your fucking wish, okay? Some of you all are getting over, uh, yeah, some of y'all is laying a situation to rest with an Aquarius. I have, I feel like it has to do with accountability and someone always playing the victim. Either you or this other person is very victimized in a situation and it's preventing things from moving to, moving to a, Move into a healthy space because someone only gives a little, even though they can give more to the relationship out of the space of fear that something is going to reoccur that occurred in the past, okay? Others of you, yeah, others of you, you have something beautiful trying to be built here with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but someone is interfering. This could be, again, a, a, someone who they have children with or who you have children with. Somebody is trying to come in and interrupt or intercept, intercept a very beautiful offer, okay? For some of you all, this involves commitment. Somebody wants to rebuild a commitment. Someone wants to renew a commitment. Others of you is having a hard time getting over a damn tourist, but as soon as you find out that this person got somebody else pregnant, it's a wrap. Some of y'all is some shady shit going on. Some of y'all could be dealing with the sign of Libra or Taurus or Pisces. And somebody is trying to secretly build in silence, like move and everything, build a whole other life behind the back of another person before they leave a situation. Like someone wants to make sure that they're secure first and this information is getting ready to come out. I heard a bank statement. Somebody going to check a bank statement to find some type of receipt. Ooh, a receipt for a, a apartment down payment or a townhome down payment. This looks like a, like a money order receipt, y'all. Some of you guys, some of y'all dealing with the sign of Scorpio, who could have a hard time letting go of damn Leo, who could have a hard time opening up emotionally, so this person is kind of turning to turning to dealing with multiple people, and at the same time, you have a solid offer coming in, possibly from a Capricorn, again, a Pisces, a Libra, a Taurus, an Aquarius, a Cancer. Some of you all are also, yeah, some of y'all definitely find out about the damn water sign connected to somebody's child. Some of you all, some of this stuff could have been illuminated in the month of September. You just, some of y'all have a fear of being alone, so you're standing in a situation out of this space of comfort, yet juggling. Holding your feelings and holding your emotions. Some of y'all are in a relationship playing chess with some fucking body. Because you don't want to cut it off. Some of you all, you have stability in one place. But you needed to choose choose the heart. Not knowing that if you choose the heart, this is what the fuck you choose, sis, bro. Stability is fuck. Something that can be built on. Something that is solid. Something that is stable. Something that is centered. It helps ground you. It assists you. Someone to come in to support your dreams. Support your vision. Build. Invest in your business. Instead, you holding on to somebody who asking you for $20 every other day going to the fucking plasma center. And I, that's for somebody they said, okay? Some of you all, some of y'all was holding on to a situation at the beginning or in the ending of September after some type of truth and clarity came out regarding somebody else wanting to build elsewhere or somebody else actually building with a third party. And for some of you all, you couldn't offer damn earth sign or air sign due to the fact that this person is codependent on you for finances and you can't grow. Some of you all, you have someone coming in to tell you some type of truth. I feel like this is someone coming in to actually express that they are aware of the connection that you guys have. It's past life for some of you all. Some of y'all is a damn twin flame. Some of y'all could have been dealing with a situation where you could have the child. I feel like this is for my Virgo men. This could be the, the mother or father of your child that is, I mean, Virgo, well, at least for Virgo period, but more for my Virgo men, I feel. You could have the, uh, the mother of your child. You could be connecting with a water sign. And this is divine union, but you can have the mother of your child coming in trying to stir some shit up, okay? Trying to use the children to manipulate you and things of the nature. Spirit is saying, do not be afraid to make a move. Don't be trying to hold on to things out of this space of fear that you're going to lack in another department because Spirit is saying it's all being aligned for you. You just have to trust what you know and allow things to flourish. You're creating that reality with the soulmate. And I feel like things are going to move extremely fast for you starting in the month of October. Whatever communication that you were waiting on to receive when it comes to any type of legalities or any type of paperwork regarding your children or any type of child support, some of y'all are going to receive some type of money out of nowhere. I feel like it's going to be coming from um, someone wanting to fix a situation that they abandoned some time ago. Okay? The advice is not to, yeah, the advice is not to resist not to resist by this state of stagnancy, okay, or by you just choosing not to make a damn decision. 
not to resist this transformation, not to resist this rebirth, not to resist where the energy is trying to move you to. Because a lot of you all, this is about your ascension. This is about you growing. This is about life purpose. This is about experience building a damn warrior. A wounded one, but one that is mastering the art of self-mastery and not being afraid to release situations that's going to hmm, not assist with the act not assist with the aspect of expansion. Some of you all may be saying three, three, three all over the damn place. You need to make a decision. And in that decision, you know you that you're gonna have to cut something completely off and don't leave no damn uh doors open and windows cracked for a person to come in and be a disturbance later. And I feel like this is happening on both party sides. This is what you don't know, okay? So Spirit, what's your advice for my Virgo during this time? What's your advice for Virgo for the month of October? Spirit of Whoa, okay. For some of you all, you're dealing with that uh, earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo. Spirit is saying, truly, truly, truly discern how much that you're willing to invest. And if, you, if you're willing to continue losing what it is that you've built. Because for some of you all, you feel entrapped or enclosed. In a dis or you feel as if you kind of stuck yourself or made the wrong decision. And I feel like there's an aspect of a turnaround that's coming about. And some of you all are keeping this to yourself, okay? But for some of you all, you're choosing to, you're choosing to move on and work on your damn self. Some of you all are going to choose to invest in it. Invest in that water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Others of you are secretly leaving a damn job. You're tired. You're actually going to move on and start that business for your damn self that you've been working on. You're making a damn decision not to be stagnant, okay? Others of you, there could be news about a promotion or some type of department department opening up at your job as well that could pay more money. Spirit is saying apply. No, or for some of you all, this has to do with like managerial or super superior supervisors. Some type of elevation, ascension, going up, okay? Moving up. For those of you, someone who could have been very mature in communication, someone wants to come back and fix it. And Spirit is saying, take your time. Allow things to flow naturally. Don't rush it, okay? But in the meanwhile, work on yourself when it comes to codependencies. Work on yourself when it comes to the things. Why, why, this, why is this abandonment triggering you? They want you to really face that and deal with it. Make a judgment for some of you all to choose peace and happiness. And further out after that, your reward is celebrations. For some of you all, you find out that you're pregnant by your boo. Congratulations, boo, mocha, love the kids, okay? But I love you all. I send you so much love and light. I will see you guys mid-month. And I pray that you enjoy your reading. Again, if you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description below. If you haven't already, please feel free to follow me on Instagram. That uh, is at um, mocha. M-O-C-H-A underscore love underscore tarot. Okay, and I will see you guys over there for the elementals for the weeklies once I get everybody updated over here. Love y'all. Bye, baby.